hey guys it's blessing here welcome back to my channel so today guys i want to show you all how to make aloe vera gel for your hair i want to start growing back my hair and i want to start healthy so first things first you have to have your aloe vera you can get them in, your, in the supermarket or else you have the plants in your house then that's fine secondly you have to wash it thoroughly especially you have to get the yellow stuff on it out first of all that stuff is stinky yeah it is really stinky it stinks it stunks it, it no it's, it's very smelly you don't need that you need to wash it off and make sure your aloe vera is clean <laughs> So after washing it, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting off the skin of the aloe vera. I try to be very gentle and very careful not to cut off the main gel because this stuff is really slimy. So I advise you do the same if you are going to try this out. And after cutting off the first skin, I'm going to wash it off and then scoop it out in a bowl. And I'm going to just repeat the same thing with all the aloe vera plants that I have. So guys, after all the hustle and hustle, this is all I could get from those plants, which is why I said you have to be careful while cutting the skin off. So right now I'm going to pour it in my blender and I'm going to blend it at high speed till it is overly blended. So after blending, we are going to need a sieve just like this one to sieve it out so as to separate the liquid from the residue. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm going to separate it and what I have left in the bowl is the finished product. You just have to get your spray bottle if you have one. You can get them in the market, in local stores, you see your spray bottles there. You get your spray bottles and um, you pour them in and you are good to go. I used the one I have, you guys. I didn't get no spray bottle because I have bottles that have spraying stuff in them, on them. So I use, I made use of this uh, stupid bottle. I don't, I don't know, why, it's not stupid actually because it's of a use to me. So yeah. So when you are done pouring them in your spray bottle, you can go ahead and store them in the refrigerator. That way it could last up to a month for you. So like I said, I want to start growing my hair back. I have been on lookout for over a year now and I have cut my hair because of dandruff and itchy scalp. So right now I want to start growing it and I want to start off good. So if you are trying to grow your hair, this mixture is definitely for you. Right now I have this hairstyle that looks really funny that I made myself. So I'm going to, you know, use this gel that I just made and spray it on my scalp and massage it thoroughly. I've had this hairstyle for about a week plus now so I want to take it out and make a new one and I'm taking advantage of it before I take it out I'm probably going to make a new one the next day after this video so because I could you know easily reach my scalp that's why I'm spraying the gel on it massaging it thoroughly especially and concentrating on the itchy sides my edges and you know the places I get dandruff more 
another great thing about this gel is that it's literally safe for you to leave on your hair if you don't want to wash it off you can also apply it on your face because mm -hmm, i mean it's aloe vera that we're talking about here and also it's for all hair types both relaxed hair and natural hair so yeah that's it for this video you guys let me know if you're going to be trying this out let me know in the comment section leave this video a like and also subscribe if you haven't and i am still your girl blessing black coco blama in the building and i sign out Mwah. bye guys